Hi there. Now here we've got a question based on coding. So if you'd like to have a go at it, just give you a moment to pause the video and when you come back, you can compare your methods on working to mine. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So we've got this transformation then that y equals 1.4x minus 20 and we're told the mean of the y data is 60.8 and the standard deviation of the y data is 6.60. So we've got to find the mean and standard deviation of x. So in order to do this, what you've got to remember for the mean is this result here. That if you take the expected value of something of the form ax plus or minus b, where a and b are constants, it's equal to a e of x plus or minus b. So remember, e of x is the mean of x. So what we do is we take the expected value of both sides. So the expected value of y is y bar, the mean of y. And if we take the expected value of the right hand side here, you can see that a would be 1.4 and the b here, if we take the minus, the b would be the 20. So according to this result here, it's going to be equal to 1.4 e of x, which is the mean of the x data, which we'll call x bar, minus 20. Now we know the mean of y, it's 60.8, so we just need to put that in as 60.8, and it's going to equal 1.4 times the mean of x minus 20. So it's just a question of rearranging this, say adding 20 to both sides, so x bar will be equal to 80.8, and then just divide that by 1.4 and the answer you get is 57.71 and so on. And if we round this say to three signum figures then it's going to be 57.7 to three significant figures, 3SF there for short. Okay so that's that one and we now move on to trying to find the standard deviation of x. And in order to do this, we need to be familiar with this result. That is the variance then of ax plus or minus b, where a and b are constants, is equal to a squared times the variance of x. Notice how the constant plus or minus b gets dropped. So for this one then, if we take the variance to both sides, we've got the variance of y, must be equal to the variance of the right hand side here. So we'll just copy that in. Remember variance is connected to standard deviation, it's the square of standard deviation. So that's why we're working with this. Okay. Now according to the result up here, then this is going to be equal to 1.4 squared times the variance of x. And we know that the standard deviation of y was 6.60, so therefore we've got 6.60 squared for the variance of y equals 1.4 squared times the variance of x. Then if we rearrange this for the variance of x, it's going to be equal to 6.60 squared divided by 1.4 squared. And to get the standard deviation, all we need to do is take the square root to both sides. And so that's just going to be 6.60 divided by 1.4. And if you work that out, you'll find you get 4.714 and so on. So if we round this to three significant figures, it's going to be equal to 4.71 to three significant figures, 3SF there. Okay?